All right, Jefferson's foreign troubles. The Barbary states were in North Africa, and they included countries like Morocco, Algiers, uh, Tunis, and Tripoli. Um, so those are those are countries in North Africa that were involved, um, but they were also called the Barbary states. Um, they were capturing American trade ships, stealing all of our goods, and profiting from them. So very, very much like pirates. Washington, Washington and Adams actually had both been bribing them to leave the U.S. ships alone. Um, so that, uh, that was something that had been happening since the beginning of our country. And Jefferson would not do this because they increased the price. Um, so he sent the Navy, because by 1801, we started to have a very small Navy, um, in 1801 to, to fight with them, and, uh, and, and ends up winning peace by 1805, and this is called the Barbary Wars. Um, it's really nothing that was super extensive, um, obviously, um, ships were shot at, there were cannons, uh, people did die. But it was basically um, very, very small, a very small navy fighting with other countries that had very small navies. Um, and uh, eventually we do win, but that's not really something that's going to be um, on the test in any large amount. The main thing to remember is just that Jefferson did take, take it into his own hands. We did win and that he refused to continue bribing them. Because of war between the French and the British, the French colonies couldn't ship to France without the, U uh, without the UK or the British attacking their ships. So we started doing something that was called re-exporting. Um, and this is a little bit sneaky and it ends up making the British angry. So what we started to do was pick up French West Indian food so basically think about the Caribbean islands, okay, next to like Cuba and stuff like that. We would go over there to the ones that the, um, that the French owned. We would pick up food, bring it to the U.S., and then ship it to France as if it was American goods. Because every time France tried to take the goods from, um, take the goods over there from West India over to France, the French's ships kept getting, kept getting blown up by the England over and over again. And so they're losing all of this food that they need desperately to, you know, eat and not die. So um, we're doing this for them at first kind of just to help them out secretively, and then it's because we're making a lot of money on it. We were making $59 million per year by 1807 doing this for the French. Um, so you definitely need to know what re-exporting is. There will, will, there will be a question on that because that's one of the main causes that gets us into the War of 1812 with the British where they come back and um, actually invade America. Um, the British hated this for two reasons. Um, it helped Napoleon and the French economy, so it was helping the people they were fighting against. And secondly, we were making so much money off of it that we were now almost as rich as the UK, also known as England. And so when you're one of the most powerful countries in the world, as England was, you don't want, you don't want somebody that's rivaling you, that's coming up and, and, uh, starting to make as much money as you are because then you don't have as much power. So that's um, that's what's happening there. And remember, re-exporting is very important. This whole paragraph uh, needs to go into your notes with a big star, circles, hearts, whatever you need to do. That's important. And then our very last slide, um, I believe, I'll still check. Um, is the British fight back. So the British started relying on impressments. Now that's not the same as like impressing somebody. Um, like, ooh, your, you know, your car is so nice and impressive. It's different. This is where you would capture a ship owned by a different country, 
take the sailors off of that ship and make them work for the British Navy. So you're impressing the soldiers by forcing, it's almost like enslaving the soldiers. Now they still get paid, they still get food, but it does take soldiers, or not soldiers, sorry, sailors, away from the ships that they were working on before. By 1812, and this is when the War of 1812 is going to start, you could imagine, um, a total of 6,000 Americans were impressed from the British Navy warships were, were taken from the British, um, or sorry, were taken to the British Navy warships. So they were taken off American ships, whether they were just regular merchant ships or Navy ships, they were taken and put into the British Navy by force. They needed more people because they were fighting a big war with France, who had a larger population. France is far larger than England, and so they needed more people, and so they essentially stole them from America. This was also payback for that thing we were doing with the French, which is called, hopefully you said re-exporting. Um, and so that's, that's one of the big things. So this is really going to cause us to get into um, the war with the French. So on Monday, um, we are going to do some stuff with Lewis and Clark, and then we're going to do the War of 1812, and then the chapter's over. That's pretty much it. So um, I think that that was it. There are two videos. There's the first one that's three minutes, this one that's seven, so it'll be right about ten minutes. I just want to make sure. Oh no, wait, sorry, there's one more slide. Oh no. So this is the last slide. Jefferson asked for an embargo. Uh, Jefferson said that the American ships were not going to ship goods to the British anymore. He thought the British would starve and riot in the streets. Instead, the British found food and trade elsewhere. The end result is that um, this only ends up hurting American farmers whose goods went bad and U.S. merchants with no one to buy their lumber, fish, etc. Um, Jefferson becomes so unpopular, he chooses not to run for a third time in 1809 as, and is succeeded by James Madison. So um, that's one of the big things is because of the impressment, Jefferson gets upset. He says, we're no longer going to trade with the British. And the British are like, that's fine, we'll get our stuff elsewhere. So that's pretty much the last thing. So then, by the time we have Madison, he's going to be the president when the War of, the, of 1812 starts. So um, that is actually the end of the notes. And I will see you guys on Monday.